Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the texture paint in Blender. So the first thing that you want to do is go pick an object and once again I'm going to pick the monkey because it has the uh, most detail to it. And I'm going to go add the subdivision to it of course too. But you don't have to do that. That's just to make it smoother and I think it makes the texture paint look smoother. But anyway, once you go into that, you want to add a material and I'm just going to use the, the default material right now and then you go into this option called texture pane up here at the top and when you go into that you can hit this option right here that says new and that's where you pick your uh, resolution for the texture at. I'm just gonna make this 4k right now 2048 2048 now you would actually change this depending on um, like the UV unwrapping of your model because some would have like a wider texture, some would have a longer one or a taller one and this one's just using a square texture but I'm just gonna give it a name, I'm just gonna call it monkey and you can see that there's an option that says 32 bit float that just adds a few more shades of colors I guess you could say, I normally leave that on and you have a few different kinds I normally just leave it on blank and once you hit that you just hit OK and you have a blank texture but as you can see it's black right here and for some reason this one is purple so I'm going to go to shading and when you go to that you go and you hit add and search for image texture now you can see right now if I'm just searching texture you don't find it and unless you scroll down to image texture but I think the quicker way to get to it is just going to this menu right here and then selecting image texture from there but anyway once you do that you just add this into the scene drag the color into the base color on your shader and then select the texture and you see we have our one right here that says monkey so you see now it's black like it was earlier and after that you can actually select a color, like let's say we want to make this, um, we'll make it blue, or some of it blue. And you see we can actually add little strokes on, on the uh, canvas over here. But another cool thing is that you can do it directly onto the model too. And you see it just paints it onto the canvas on the side. So that's really cool. It's one of Blender's coolest features, I think, is the texture paint. And depending on how well you've UV unwrapped the model, you can do this a lot easier. So this is why UV unwrapping is important in 3D animation, is because of texture painting and things like that. Now let's say I want to um, turn the brush stroke up to where it's bigger. You can drag this thing that says radius up, and let's just say I want to make it a big solid color. I turn it up to 500. Well, it lags a little bit after you do that because it's just so much paint. Oh, it almost crashed. But you can see how that works. Yeah, let's take that off though. I don't want this thing crashing. And yeah, you can turn that up and down. Add little colors like that. You see it lags a little bit more when you try to do it in the viewport. I guess because it's doing it directly on the 3D model. So sometimes it's better just to paint on the canvas over here. But one last thing is the strength. You can turn the opacity up and down. Like let's say, let me pick a color that I haven't used. And I just want this to be on here a little bit. See, this is at 72. Hang on, I meant that's at 500. And this is at full blast. So you can change the opacity and things like that. So texture painting in Blender is a lot of fun. Probably one of my favorite parts of animation is just painting the characters and painting the objects and things like that. But anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.